Okay, thank you everyone for checking out another, um, well, a five image Friday, because um, it's Friday, but there's actually more than five images this week. Um, what I thought I'd do, just to make it a little bit different, is uh, actually show you a sneak peek that I put together for a recent wedding I just shot on Saturday. Um, talk you through what, how I pick the images for a sneak peek, um, why I do a sneak peek, and uh, just talk about some of the images from it. So there's a few more than five um, I've actually just recorded this and it recorded the wrong screen for some reason, so I'm hoping this has worked. Um, so this wedding I shot on Saturday, it's now Thursday, obviously this vi uh, video will go out tomorrow, Friday. Um, so just, you know, it's less than a week since I shot this wedding. Um, I shot all the images on Fuji X-Pro 2s, uh, two of those, and either the 23mm 1.4 or the 56mm 1.2, or the 16mm 1.4. So 23mm equivalent, 35mm equivalent, and 85mm equivalent um, on full frame. So just for anyone interested you know, in the camera settings, um, no flash in this. Uh, I did use a little Lumi Muse uh, light, which when you see the gear video that I'm just putting together at the moment, you'll see that little light, which is really, really good. Um, but that's, uh, that's all. I use that sort of the sparklers and stuff at the end. So um, all pretty much natural light. Um, so for sneak peeks, right, I when I get back from a wedding, either the night of when I'm backing up the images or the following day, um, I'll go through and just pick a few. And it might be five or 10 or 12 or something. It's usually not very many. And I just pick them uh, based on telling a bit of a story of the day. So I want a few from each section of the day. Um and I'm always looking for those, that not always, you know, my favorites necessarily, but just ones that I know that like show something about the day, talk a bit about it, you know, show that uh, what the day was about and why it was unique to them. Um, so it's not all the generic same shots and, and stuff like that, which obviously isn't my style anyway. So this first shot, um, there are a few, they're not always in order either, but this is one from obviously the prep. So it's actually uh, Hannah and Laura, two brides. Um, for this wedding so that was really nice so they got ready in separate rooms but in the same hotel and this was a uh, slaley hall in northumberland so it's um about 50 minutes from where i live in durham so it's not far now this bride prep um uh, picture so i love this so the bridesmaids have just poured you can see the bottle in her hand there just poured the champagne it's flowed almost like it's going to flow over but just up to the top and stopped so that's what the expression is about okay this has just happened i've tried to frame it so i can see obviously hannah here but I've got the bridesmaids in the sort of framing on the right hand side. And I've got the dressing as well, which I really like. So um, again, I'm quite close here with the 23 mil, 35 mil equivalent. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the expression. and I hope that uh, Hannah and Laura and the couple and the friends and stuff will look at this and they'll know that that's her look, you know, like, oh, you know, something's about to happen or something's just happened. Um, so, you know, I really like this for that reason. Okay, so you can see Laura here. So Laura's actually in the mirror. Um, Quiet Siri. So Laura's actually in the um, in the mirror there, so you can see her, and this is her mum. So the reason I like this, I've got a few variations of this picture, so I've got some with Laura in focus, and I've changed, you know, where I'm standing slightly and stuff, but I really like this, I've got two generations getting the makeup done, I can see obviously Laura in the mirror, and mum outside of the mirror here, uh, in front of me. Again, I'm quite close, but... Um, you know, I'm in and out quite quickly on this shot, so she didn't overly notice, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I just really like that, you know, I've got the two generations in the mirror, and that's sort of what I was going for there, really. Uh, the lighting's quite nice. And Okay, so back to Hannah here. Um, they would actually been messing around, jumping on the... Um on this sofa, because it kind of, they were saying it, it didn't bounce at all, like when you sort of sit on it or jump it, it just kind of, you know, you just stop dead. <laughs> I didn't quite know what they meant, but they jumped on it and uh, sort of proved it. Um, and you can just see they're having obviously a good laugh here and um, so I just wanted to capture that and I think it's really nice it's obviously a bit later on the preps the two girls were already dressed and um, the other one the other bridesmaid on the left will be getting dressed and then obviously Hannah the bride so yeah I just uh, I just quite like this you know the laughing um, natural shot of them I think I've knelt down here or stood just next door quickly knelt down got this shot and um, yeah I think it's quite nice okay so back to Laura then so again um I would have liked the lighting to be slightly different than this, but I don't want to change much, you know. I don't want to control this and make it all about, right, Dad, just wait here and do this. And, you know, I want the natural emotion as he comes in and sees her. So I love that, you know, I could get, obviously, Laura's uh, expression in the mirror here and the dad who, you know, obviously, he was quite funny, actually, uh, Laura's dad. And 
You can see here, like the expression. I like it in black and white, just to detract from everything else. You know, the light's behind Laura anyway. So I think uh, that's nice. And again, I can just see Laura on the left here of the image and then in the mirror. Um, and I really like this. I always try and get the father's expression. Obviously, all the, the mums or, you know, whoever, like close family, friends and stuff, when they see them in the dress, because I think it's always really nice. You never know, you know, what, what you're going to get um, out, of, out of people. But this is uh, quite nice. Okay, so this is during the ceremony. So Slaley Hall... Uh, it's quite a big uh, sort of spa hotel. It's got a golf course, that kind of kind of thing. It's really nice. And behind me here is like a big sort of double doors and a big window. Uh, so you can see the light coming in at the front, but behind is is darker. Um, so I love the fact they're all sort of quite near the front here, and there's enough that I can just make out a couple of people behind as well. Everyone's tearing up. So you see Laura, Hannah have got tear. You know that the kind of. Uh, eyes glazed over kind of you know when you you kind of holding back from a full cry but the tears there the mum is uh, crying there you can see the dad's welling up a little bit and so I just really like this um so you know a lot of emotion you can see I'm quite close uh, the registrars were brilliant which was good she was you know very happy just you know I can stand in the middle at the front when she when uh, Laura walked down the aisle so Hannah walked down first then Laura and you can see uh, this is just after the sort of met at the end so yeah I absolutely love this uh, really, really nice. This one then, just a little details. This is a, the cake topper with their names on. Um, again, I can get down low here and just frame it in the window so you can see it was quite a moody kind of day. Um, I should probably turn my Facebook notifications off, but it was quite a moody day. Um, and you can, so you can just make out the kind of obviously the, the, the sky, how it is there. The weather was actually perfect. It held out pretty nicely. Um, it was supposed to rain at the really bad time just after the ceremony when they'd all be heading outside. Uh, but luckily it sort of pushed back and it didn't start raining. It did rain quite heavy, but not until they were sat down for food. So it was absolutely perfect, really. But you can see, you can make out a little bit of moody sky there. I really wanted this silhouette because I think with the names there, just framed in the window, it worked really, really nicely. Okay, so here's the girls. Again, the back of the dresses, I think, you know, they look really nice. They're part of the dress and I get a lot of pictures from the front, um, but not so much from the back. So I think it's really nice to... Um, to, to see that you know those images and um so yeah this is just them walking again I, I quite like the fact that they're on the path there. there's not much distraction around them we've got the trees on the side and this uh i don't know what this thing is like a wooden structure thing but um but yeah i just think it's quite nice just them walking naturally and uh so i really like this moment so here's them from the front. They were walking towards me from the steps area there. Um, as I say, I edit from the JPEGs for this food just for the sneak peeks. It's just nice and easy to edit. You know, I try and shoot it as close as I can in camera anyway, so I don't have a lot to do on it. In the final edits, though, like I'll get rid of that sign on the right. You know, I don't over. I don't like to overly Photoshop things because um, you know I, I shoot as the day is really. That's that's kind of my style, but. I that sign just does nothing and it's just detracting and sort of moving my eyes over because everything else is kind of green and so I will get rid of that sign in the final edits. Um, yeah, I like this. It's it's very um, you know like I say nice and close up. You can see just a nice clean image. I like Laura's smile here. You can see the dresses uh, looking really nice. The lighting uh, is is nice here, holding the dresses and yeah, I just quite like it. I think it's a nice uh, clean picture. You can see the golf uh, course behind. So the ceremony room is actually behind me here for context. So you come out and this is sort of where you come to. Speeches then, uh, the, the light, because the light's coming in behind there, black and white uh, for this, quite emotional shot. And it, I just think it works really well. Um, the dad smiling there, the, you know, everyone kind of, you know, tearing up a little bit. I just love the emotion here. And the speeches are fantastic. Actually, there was five speeches. They were quite reasonable length, though. Like, they weren't, they weren't too long. Um, but we had laughing and crying and, you know, a real mixed um, emotion, which is everything that I love in speeches. You know, that's, that's what I would want every time. Um, so, yeah, I really like this. Uh, you can just see the flowers there at the front, which is quite nice as well. First dance then here. Um, again, I just love how close they are. Um, you can see, actually see my second shooter, David, there in the bottom corner. Uh, but I can see the guests here, but obviously it's all about Laura and Hannah, you know, in close there. I don't know if Laura's whispering something there or singing. I don't, don't know what's happening, but I really love this. Uh, that Again, that I framed them here. That I can see everyone around them, and um, I just think it's, yeah, a really nice picture. Again, no, you know, nothing nothing too, uh, too crazy. I just love the closeness of them and... Um, you know, I try and keep everything as it, like, as I've said a few times, as it is. The, the up light is there. You can see the light, you can see everyone. Um, and I just, yeah, I really like it. 
so I did say it jumps around a little bit. This is back to prep. This photo, um, Hannah was writing out uh, some bits on the bed. I took a few uh, different angles here of this, but when I saw this glass just poking out from the wall, I thought this is going to be, you know, if it works, it's going to be good. Um, and the bridesmaids holding the glass did move forward enough just to get this frame. I think this was like the only the only one I got, and then she was in the picture. Um, and then, yeah, and then obviously she, you know, moved and, and blocked uh, Hannah there. So I had a split second to get this. This is actually a mirror on the left, um, a picture frame, sorry, on the left. It's not a mirror, but, you know, obviously it would have been really good if someone was stood in that reflection. But that's just uh, obviously how it is. And uh, you can see the sort of champagne there. And I think that adds a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I just really like the frame in here. Um, it worked really nicely. I've got some with and without the glass. So we'll see what the couple think. But. Yeah, I'm a big fan of having things in the foreground. Um, as I've mentioned a few times, and this is just nice, I think, to, to frame uh, Hannah there. She's concentrating. During the ceremony then, uh, nice black and white. Again, I'll try and capture details where I can. So during the ceremony, I get a lot of the face. So this, I just wanted, you know, I like the holding hands there. Laura's got her hands wrapped round. And so I just like that the, I can see the dresses. The lighting's really nice. Um, and yeah, I just think this is, is a nice close-up picture. I'll try and get this during the ceremony. Uh, sometimes during the ring exchange if I can as well or little moments like that um, I just think this is really nice okay on to the confetti then so um, I've actually got a great image that I love from this I might it's even I'd even go as far as to say maybe it'll go on the home page of my website um, as Laura and Hannah get a bit further down there's some confetti cannons go off and Laura's face is fantastic um, it's like sort of I think panic, scared, kind of, you know, the cannon's just gone off kind of look. Um, I don't know what they'll think of the picture, but I absolutely love it. Um, but even just this, the facial expressions are fantastic. You know, you can see everyone around them, the blue sky, the confettis in the picture there. And um, I just really like it. The hardest part for me on this was walking backwards on the stairs, actually. Because um, I kind of, obviously, I'm involved with getting the picture and, you know, then I've got to be careful where I'm stepping. But um, I absolutely love, uh, you know, confetti shots in general. And um, this one's, this one's, uh, yeah, one of my favorite confetti in a while, actually. Um, so that picture's really good. I may talk about it at some point in another Five Image Friday, some point down the line. Um, but yeah, I still love the expressions on this. And I, I hope the couple will look at this and uh, remember it fondly. Um, also quite like, you can you can make out, you might not see it straight away because these kind of pictures where there's a lot of people in, uh, I often, you know, you focus on the main thing. But when I look back on them over time, you see other little things going on. And um, I like um, on the left here, you can see, I don't know if it's, I think it's maybe uh, one of the granddads, um, but he's just emptying that packet there. I don't know if quite if he's just, he's finished throwing, so he's just emptying it out to be done with it or quite what he's doing. But I just like that it's off here and uh, off to the left there and he's just emptying it out, looking at it. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, so usually after the ceremony or after that, wherever the initial bit is, whether it's confetti or something, there's that period where it's like, okay, we're married now. You know, everyone come and sort of congratulate the the couple and say hello. And this is the mum actually, and you know, coming in for a kiss there. So this period is great for these kind of candids with the guests, and because no one's thinking about what's going on, and I can just, um, you know, I can come here and I can be quite close to Brian and Groom. I've been on twenty three here. Um, yeah, so you can see I'm pretty close. I like that the, the confetti's in the hair there for Hannah. Um, and yeah, I just like all the guests piling around. They've got a few of these pictures. Um, this is a great a favorite, one of my favorite times of day, really, because it's that, you know, congratulations, you're just married and we, we haven't seen you properly. And even if they come up during the prep, you know, you don't get to see them very much. So this is the time to sort of say, you know, congratulations. And it's a really, really nice time. And uh, I quite, yeah, I like this image. Okay, sparklers. Uh, I've actually got two sparkler shots in uh, in this sneak peek. Again, I, I'm using a little Lumi Muse light. Actually, it's a little LED just to give a pop on the couple. But otherwise, as you know, you can see the sparklers behind. It's all kind of uh, natural daylight. Uh, the clock, clocks have changed here now, so it's, uh, it is actually seven o'clock at the minute in the UK, and it's really sunny outside. If I look outside the window there, um, but this was like half nine, ten o'clock ish. Um, you can see it's quite dark. Uh, obviously well, it's pitch black um but yeah it's it's just great for for this and you can see laura's expression is what I, why i love this so much so bringing the heart up you can see the um from the light there the heart on her on her face and i just think hopefully they'll look the couple look at this and they'll know yeah that's you know laura's expression that's what she's like and you know it's uh i really really like it a lot um oh three sparkle shots i lied so here's um 
the brother and he they had this glitter table there at the wedding so they were all like sticking glitter on throughout the night he actually got a full beard full of glitter and his face was covered and um, it's quite funny again nothing pose here a little bit of the Lumi Muse light to give him a, a bit of light but he was I don't actually know what he was trying to achieve here but uh I, I just quite like that he um you know the, the glitter on the face and I think this uh will take them back and probably be something they'll laugh at I'm sure final one then um and this is Hannah, obviously you can tell by the dress, just holding the dress there a bit. And I like to get, again, details of the day. And this just, again, takes them back to the sparkler section. So you can see that, um, you know, the sparkler flashing, uh, just lighting up her kind of the, the orange on the hand and dress. No light here at all. It's just as the natural light was. Uh, I like that, the orangey glow from the sparkler, the close-up um, of the shot. Um, yeah, it's just worked really nicely for me. And uh, I think it was a nice way to finish on. So I've sort of tried to get some from, you know, the prep from both sides, the ceremony. We've got some, uh, we've got a bit of, the, you know, one of the first dance in there, the sparklers. And I think in the kind of uh, it was 12, 15 images, whatever, in this sneak peek, uh, it just tells a bit of the day. And I think it's great to get that across. Everyone's got phones out wedding. So obviously these pictures are going up straight away in the evening or in the next day from all the guests from what they've taken. So I think it's nice for me to have some out. It's going to be, you know, four weeks till a couple get their pictures. And even though it's going to be really nice for them to relive it again in four weeks and, um, you know, and then look through their album and stuff down the line. Um, I just think it's really nice to have some of these professional sort of images out from the day quite early on. So I don't always do a sneak peek. It just depends on uh, what I'm doing, obviously, the following day after a wedding, things like that. But I'll try to do them where I can, and I do think they add a little bit to the day. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully um, I did, in fact, get an email back from um, uh, from Laura and Hannah just saying thanks so much for the day. It was really, really nice, actually. Um, and they, they love these sneak peeks. So I'm really looking forward to getting the full uh, gallery edited and over to them. Um, but yeah, for now, I just uh, hopefully that's been interesting. Uh, please drop a comment below, subscribe, let me know um, if you like this format. Did you like hearing about the sneak peek, seeing a few more than five images? Um, if that worked, just let me know because... Um, It'd be great to, you know, get your get your thoughts on that. Uh, next week will be a normal five images again. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if, if you like this format, I'll definitely do it again. So um, please have a look at that. Keep an eye out because I will put the slideshow from some of the images from uh, this wedding and from any others that I've shot uh, up on my on the YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, have a look for those. Um, and then the uh, blog, there'll be a blog post about it at some point as well. Um, so yeah, thanks Laura and Hannah for having me along. It was an absolutely awesome day, uh, really, really good fun. And uh, thanks to Slaley Hall and all the staff there because, um, you know, it was fantastic. We had some lovely food and yeah, it was an all around great day. So thanks for checking out the video. Any comments, let me know. You can check my website and link in the comments. Um, and, and yeah, I'll see you all next Friday.